was that Duff here? Let's turn you around. Duff here. Putting a full face helmet on is not very comfortable right now because I had uh, more skin cancer surgery last uh, Wednesday where they took another chunk uh, from behind my right ear. So I have about a three inch incision there. So the pressure from a helmet does not feel very uh, good. So I'm, luckily this is not, not going to be a super long, uh, super long test here. Behind me you can see I have the V13 and I'm going to go out and do a speed run on it. You're on the 3D camera. The 3D camera that I totally missed the footage when I did my speed runs on the Sherman. Um, in retrospect, after doing a thorough analysis, uh, that was due to user error. The camera did not mess up. I messed up. So, in most situations, I'm not hesitant to admit when I mess up because I do it a lot. And uh, I messed up in that situation. So now, even though it is February, I'll be at the end of February, it is hot as hell here in Southwest Florida. It's, um, it's well into the 80s, mid 80s right now, feels humid. So wearing my, my upper body crash gear is not the most comfortable thing, but it's a smart thing, so we're gonna do it. So, okay, ready to go? Let's head over to the speed run. I mean, this is really annoying, this incision. I'm not gonna be able to leave this on very long. I'm doing the, uh, the test in the same spot I always do. I'm going to go down to 39th Street. I just crossed over Monty Road. I will, I will be tracking the speed with the InMotion app. Because as far as I know, darkness class still does not work with the V13. I've adjusted these pads around. Several people pointed out to me that the pads, actually the way I got them, uh, they were they were backwards and upside down. But um, oddly enough, it feels like with the way they were, I could actually get my legs further forward to apply more uh, forward lean. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Because as always, I don't I don't uh, like to accelerate hard. I like to do it gradually, so I expect I have enough, I enough uh, should have enough space to get up to the speed I'm hoping to get to. All right, for my, my ground camera, I brought my GoPro 9. I didn't see any old people walking the road, so hopefully uh, no one will pick that up. Um, I can tell you I need to move these paths farther forward for me to be able to get the kind of lean I need to get the kind of speed that I'm hoping for so I am moving them forward hoping that they stay not velcro and these are just have pretty resilient adhesive in the back of them so I've been able to unstick and restick them several times on uh, my quick test run it felt like I had uh, more headwind coming this way so I'm anticipating getting my best speed going this way so that's what we're gonna do oh wait let me get the uh, Get the app going. Get the app going and the screen recording. Um, all right. So it's, it should be right around 100%. It was fully charged. No, we don't want firmware. Okay, we're recording. I'm hoping to put it in my pocket without it. Without it turning off. All right. So I'm going to. Oh, Right on cue, here comes a car. Awesome. You might remember when I did the, whew, I did the speed run on the Sherman. I had all kinds of issues, you know, camera issues, people breaking my camera issues. But I still record my best speed ever on the Sherman during that speed run. Now let's make sure that we're recording. Yeah, okay, have a flashing red light. That means you are recording. So. Time for some reason I thought a, a, a blue light flashing man I was recording. It does not. It's been a while since I used a 360. You know, I'm old, you have to keep reinforcing things. All right. Okay, the pads are definitely further forward. I can feel them pushing into my into my calves in the back. But I'm gonna be leaning, woo, I'm gonna be leaning forward, so here we go.
do without my phone out to see what I'm doing. I really should have gotten that damn wrist mount that Marty has. All right. Such a big wheel. Okay. And just break again. Screen turned off. I need to keep the phone out, I think, because the screen will turn off if I don't. Because now it's not recording either. The bad thing is, is this doesn't tell me like darkness spot, like what my top speed is so far. Or does it? Let me see. 40.7. Forty point seven on the app. So those of you that saw my my ride to Dunkin' Donuts, you'll know that at one point it said I was cruising forty four miles an hour. Just cruising, not not really trying. On my way to or 43, 43 or forty four. And when I looked down and saw that, I, I was very very surprised. And then I got two more freaking vehicles coming this way. Come on, man. Sunday afternoon, go, go relax, go do something else. Now, when I was doing that, I did, uh, that was with uh, the wind to my back, but still, I mean, it was so easy. Now, that being said, uh, the Mockley Road is smoother than these back roads, so it's kind of easy to go fast on that road, except for the three lanes of traffic that are near you. Oh, what the hell? All right, come on. Now I got my phone out. as I expected to be. Like I said, this road, this side road does have little uh, little undulations in it. Not that bad, but huh, okay. Who the hell would see what kind of speed I hit going this way? others to deal with. It's interesting, it, we didn't feel that bad. Now, what's the, what's the mail truck doing out here on a Sunday? Jesus, come on. Go away. All right. Now I got both of the mail trucks. Speeding out, I was, I was almost at, I was almost at 40 going that direction. Hmm, interesting. Right. Turn around, try again. Again. Try, try, try again. And we got a Instagram like coming in. Good to know. Man, get lost. Yeah, see, I'm feeling I'm feeling headwind this way. Okay, let me uh, let's go the other direction again. I'm still not feeling comfortable with the pads, though. Even with is 
right in the middle of the street. Go! Dude, out of the road! Ay, ay, ay. the freaking mail truck is coming back in. These people just want to see me. They're just looky loose. Come on. I definitely feel better going the other direction today. I'm hitting some wind pressure. Wind pressure. All right. Go back the other way. Crosswind. I don't like that. It's not real good. Oh, and my screen lock. Great. Fucking screen lock. Damn it. down to the other end, unless it feels good to me. close to 40 the wind pressure really really ratchets ratchets up this direction fuck yep yeah. all right get lost no i'm not seeing more people live on this road now and that's why it's so challenging all right i don't have a lot more runs in me i don't think this isn't feeling great. Yes, you can hear that noise from the wheel. That's something I've, I've been working on. It comes and goes. Slower speeds I hear it, higher speeds I do not. Another vehicle. I'm gonna push it. We're gonna call it 45. 46.1. That's a new app based speed record. A couple MPH better than the uh, Sherman S. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. I don't need to push it any more than that.
go collect my camera and head back because this helmet is pressing on my incision in an uncomfortable manner. And it's even better when you press the arrow when you press in the direction that the arrow says you should be pressing. Much better that way. So there you go, new EUC speed record for me. I was thinking I might get closer to 50, but you know, I'll take 46, it's fine. It's fine, you know, since all, all my stuff is packed, almost, I really would like to wear my padded bottoms when I'm doing these kind of runs, and they're packed away somewhere, I'm not even sure where they are. So, um, I'm okay uh, not pressing my luck to an extreme degree. 46 is okay. All right, back at the house. Um, yeah, so as I, I expected to get to, the, to my best speed ever on the wheel, and I did do that. It's not quite as easy as I thought it might be, but I think, I don't know, man, with pads and me, it's just, it's like a love-hate relationship, a lot more hate than love. So let's get this damn thing off. It does not feel good. Oof. Yeah, it won't gross you out, but yeah, there's, that's where I got, got my latest incisions. So, there you go, there's my top speed test on the V13. If you found this video interesting, please give a big thumbs up. Um, if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. What do you think about the run? Um, it can obviously go faster. You know, you can get into the 50s, but uh, I, I, felt, I felt okay with uh, the speed that I went. Um, big thanks to channel members. If you want to uh, join the channel, be an official member, um, you can join these awesome people right here. And if you hit the join button, you can see the benefits of doing so uh, below. Um, I might, I might go in, throw this on the charger. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Throw this on the charger and maybe take it over to the swamp. Take a couple Advil and go over to the swamp maybe. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Obviously, I'm not going super far because I have a feeling that taking this wheel into the swamp is going to be kind of exhausting. So, but uh, might do it. So, until next time, stuff me now.